The common mode of sexual intercourse is not even natural. Our genitals are not for pleasure, they're for procreation. And that occurs when two people are very much in love and wanting to reproduce. Nature takes its course when the couple are asleep, laying naked and embraced. Procreation occurs by the VJJ acting as a vacuum, <laughs> drawing the flaccid penis <laughs> inside to a climax and eventually ejaculation. The VJJ then releases the PP, all the while not disturbing the peacefully sleeping couple. Forceful sexual intercourse is unnatural. I've never heard someone compare a JJ to a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I guess there's a first for everything, isn't there, guys? Welcome back everyone. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I'm back again talking into my microphone. <laughs> I'm having a great day today. I've just been wrapping Christmas presents. I'm getting super excited for Christmas. I love December so much. I get to watch all the Simpsons Christmas specials, all that sort of stuff. I can't wait. I hope you're all doing awesome. Thanks for being here. We're diving right into some bad women's anatomy today. This subreddit's quickly becoming like one of my top three subreddits. I love it so much. Just how insane these guys are. Like the one at the start. <laughs> Let's jump right into it. Dudes can wash their ding-dongs off, but females be having nuts sitting up in the coochie for three days rotting. <laughs> With that emoji. That's why it's nasty for a girl to be banging. Let's argue about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I'm grossed out just thinking about this, and I don't want to get into it, but how does this guy expect it to all just sort of stay up there for three days? It's just got little arms, and it's like clinging on. Dude, this is not how it works. If you're not a virgin, then what are you feminist for? <laughs> we read that in one of our other videos. I don't really understand what being a virgin has to do do with being a feminist. Something to do with incels. I don't think I'll ever understand. I see no boob bones. The victim was a man. <laughs> so was there a boner bone? <laughs> Quite a lot of mammals have one. The penis bone of the bear plays an important role in different indigenous cultures where it is used as a charm of fertility. Yeah, I just did some quick googling and it seems like walruses have the biggest ones. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. Yes, people use them as charms and stuff. Ah, oh, it's all good luck, isn't it? God, people are crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll just take this ding dong bone. Yeah, that'll be a charm of fertility. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Women should never do weightlifting. It's not meant for ladies. One single wrong move and your uterus will move one millimeter and your life is ruined. All life pain, no medicine works, no surgery will cure. Life is hell if uterus moves one millimeter or even nanometer. Dislocation will make a woman life hell with her in excruciating pain that you have to lie down in bed all your life. Men should never do weightlifting. One wrong move and their testes will rip in half. What the hell is this? <laughs> this page is posting someone else's comment. It sort of boggles my mind that there is someone insane enough out there to not just believe something like that, but to actually put it out online and share it with other people. The world's a big place full of a lot of crazy people. We're asking Reddit this question. If blood shoots out when you sneeze on your period, could you empty your uterus and end your period early if you huffed a bunch of pepper? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, as if there'd be like this set amount in there every month. Just like a bottle of it inside your body somewhere. <laughs> you just gotta, you just gotta empty it. <laughs> Obviously, I have no idea. So maybe <laughs> grab the pepper. Find out if you crack or thrive under pressure. Go to the blackboard. Accept or stay after class. Yeah, except your leg is going the wrong way. Ah, me knee popped out. God damn it. Yeah, her proportions are right. Yeah, totally. I'm sure she wasn't designed by some insane guy. Her arms are like two centimeters wide with like massive curves and like massive... Oh, it's just terrible. And then with a leg that goes the wrong way. <laughs> I saw a girl with a blood stain in her crutch area earlier today. She obviously forgot to shove a tampon up there. Oh, sorry, a tampon. If you can't control your bladder, you should probably use pads instead all the time, though. Whoa. And it has 100 likes and 400 comments. <laughs> if you can't control your bladder, oh, no. You've got to be joking, right? How could you be so confident about that? <laughs> to the point where you're writing a status about about it. Oh no. Who's gonna tell him? Girls when they learn everything about a penis and how it functions by 7th grade. Men when they find out by the age of 25 that women don't pee out of their vajayjays. And all the comments, wait what? What? Wait they what? 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 <laughs> oh god, it's so funny. In our defense, okay, we never get taught that sort of stuff, ever. <laughs> I can remember when I was younger thinking like, dude, these things must be so complicated. <laughs> if a lot of guys never get taught, they actually 
don't go and figure it out on their own. <laughs> so are you curvy? I don't know. You can see my pictures. Yes, big boobs you have. Wow, amazing. Two of my ex-girlfriends, their boobs were small. And I'm not sure why. What do you mean you're not sure why? Because I thought women drink milk a lot to grow their boobs. And I guess two of my ex-girlfriends were not drinking it enough, I guess. Maybe it was the wrong food they were eating or something. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No, surely not. Is this guy taking the piss or what? It says at the top that this guy is 34 years old. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you know what, buddy? It's never too late to learn. Your boobs just get bigger if you drink a lot of milk. Can you imagine? <laughs> Back in my day, a woman would date in her league and save herself for a significant other. Sure, grandma, let's get you back to bed so I can get back to rejecting thousands of matches and try to make things work with a frick boy who knocked me up. What sort of a nice guy wrote that? Making memes and complaining about girls is so ugly. Like, just stop it, dude. Find something better to do. The female orgasm is a myth. Women are not capable of producing sperm and therefore do not need to... You know what? Why would I, a man, waste my time trying to trigger an orgasm reflex in a woman when it's not possible? Ladies, stop telling us your lies. Our semen has reproductive capabilities, whereas your ejaculation is just urine. You're peeing on us and think this is funny? <laughs> Dude, how dare you? Dude, I don't want to be peed on. The title says there's a lot of confusion going on here. You can say that again. Yeah, I really don't know where to start on this one. I think I'll move on. You can't not have a uterus, love. I'm sure you got it wrong. You need a uterus to pee and stuff. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to leave a video more confused than today. What do you mean? <laughs> the funniest part about all of this is that these people have absolutely no idea what they're saying, but they're so confident in what they're saying that they're willing to argue with people about it online. <laughs> it's like, just Google it. Just take like 10 seconds and Google it. <laughs> a lot of women go through shoplifting phases, and this is inherently intertwined with their subconscious and the fact that they used to gather berries, nuts, greens, etc. What? <laughs> it's just like ingrained in you to go and shoplift. The only reason any girl has ever shoplifted is because what, her ancestors used to pick berries, nuts, and greens? <laughs> just because your ancestors used to gather food doesn't mean you're going to just go and steal stuff and not think about it. I can't get in trouble for this. It's natural that I steal things. I'm just gathering food. Yeah, not sure about that one, buddy. I thought you had your JJ removed moved during your hysterectomy. A uterus is different from a vajayjay. I still have one. I don't think there is a difference for some people. Some people don't know. I still haven't watched The Office. I need to watch that really soon. She's 18. God, she looks like she's 33. I've noticed this with many ladies today. They have the bodies of older women that have had kids. How are you 5 foot 5, 165 pounds with curves? You shouldn't look that way yet. Give your body time to mature. Imagine how they will look at 35, probably 55. I learned in a sociology class that older women try to look younger. I think 22 and younger women try to look older. 22 again. There is pressure to look an ideal age to maximize sexual appeal to men. I think that has shifted some. Freaking chill, bro. I don't even really understand what you're trying to say here, bro. You don't have control over these things. Your body's going to change. You're going to grow. You're going to mature. Like, you can't stop that. Oh, I better push pause on my body growth because I look too old for my age. <laughs> what do you expect, man? I'm not disappointed. Females don't understand music. Go listen to Black Veil Brides or something. Holy crap. I I love that all it took was no to get you offended enough to call me a female, as if that's an insult, and say that I don't understand music. Perhaps you're projecting your own insecurities on strangers on the internet? Yeah, sure. Please, just for once, disappoint me and say something useful, female. I genuinely can't tell if you know that I'm not female and are just acting like a first grader who is afraid of cooties, or if you're convinced that I have a JJ and are just painfully lonely and have a problem taking that out on others. This is the female brain. Shallow, crap taste in music, specific response type. Oh, you're so insecure, blah, blah. Low IQ. No worries, you are female. You are mad. No, I'm perfectly normal. Perfectly mad, lol. Why is that? I'm sure your celibacy is 100% voluntary. That's dangerously close to an incel. Oh, God. You silly females. The female brain is just so useless. You're all dumb and have low IQs. And just to say that, like, women have the same responses. Dude, you are being insecure and you're putting that on other people for sure. <laughs> this isn't just a girl's way of thinking. That's just how it is. Guys, 
I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. That was some more bad women's anatomy for you. Every single time I film this video, I have so much fun. I had an awesome time today, guys. That was awesome. And yeah, thank you for joining me on this journey. Today's comment of the day goes to Dan the Lichen. I watched this while doing my Geo homework and it made something so boring seem not so bad. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. I think that was a compliment, wasn't it? <laughs> you're not saying that my videos are so boring that it makes your Geo work seem less boring, are you? I don't think that's what you're saying. <laughs> thank you so much for your support. Thank you for all the lovely comments. I love reading the comments from you guys. I'm so lucky. Our community is incredible. Guys, have a lovely rest of your day. Have a lovely night. And I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new fun videos. I'll see you then.